Well, as you know, this summer's weather has been tough on a lot of crops, everything from fruits and veggies to even honey. Yeah, local beekeepers say their honey harvest take a major hit. 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton joining us with a story of a local couple and their honey crop. All new at 530. It's harvest time here at the Myers Honey Farm in Fulton County. They will be bringing in honey for the next several weeks. And while the total will be more than a thousand pounds for the year, that number is down double digits. It takes a little bit of time and energy to get the honey from the bees and into the bottle for everybody to eat. While hundreds of thousands of honeybees are busy working outside in the hives, Roger and Judy Myers are harvesting the fruits of their labor inside what they call the honey house. Take a knife and cut it open to expose all the hexagon cells. Each one of these frames has roughly five pounds of honey on it to be extracted. And extracting the honey is a complex process. I start out real slow to keep it in balance. And what happens as it spins, the centrifugal force dislodges the honey from each cell. But this year, there's not as much honey to harvest. I'm going to guess that we're down 40 to 50 percent of our honey crop from, year, from years past because of the weather. The biggest problem is all the rain. It would rain every other day and washes away the pollen. The bees can't fly in the rain. In an average year, a, a good hive will produce a couple hundred pounds. And I had some hives that I would put an A-plus on them for this year that are right up there. But I have also have a lot of hives that aren't going to make much more than for them to survive the winter on and no extra honey. And while the work these bees do may seem simple. The insects are just so unique with their whole social structure and how each one has their own job. I mean, you can learn a lot from the bees. We can't all be the queen bee. If we work together, we can get a lot done. And the bees know that. Everybody has a job to do. Some pretty sweet life lessons. Lisa Guyton, 13 ABC Action News.